Assalamu alaikum. Thank you for writing to our live session, sister. As I understand your question, your mom is 66 years old. She's healthy, but she's had a lot of trauma since your father passed away in a car accident. Um, she raised you in very hard circumstances, and she's become very pessimistic and possibly severely depressed. However, she doesn't view it in this light, and she thinks that just because she's not getting counseling or she's handling it on her own, that this is a sign of her iman. Um, she's right in one way that she is you know, persevering and getting through this. However, Allah says that we trust in Allah, but we tie our camel, right? Meaning, yes, we trust in Allah. We rely on our faith. You know, that Allah is going to help us. The law is the cure for everything, which he is. However, it also says to tie our camel, which means to do everything we can to help improve a situation or to prevent a bad one, right? And in your mom's case, she has not tied her camel, for lack of a better term. She has not taken the steps that she needs to heal from the trauma and the tragedy of losing her husband and living in very hard circumstances. You state that at this point, she doesn't think there's anything wrong. And she doesn't want to see a therapist or, or have a counselor or address her problems at all. Um, and, and it's also, at this point, causing problems because she's saying things in front of your children um, that she really shouldn't be saying, right? Like she's going to die soon um, and so forth. Now, I don't know how old your children are, but... In this situation, I'm sure they love their grandmother very much, and she loves them. However, if if they're if they're younger, that's not really a good thing to keep telling children because they'll develop fears naturally, right? That their grandmother's going to die. Um, you may want to talk to your mom and just ask her not to talk about that around the children. If your children are older, you might want to sit them down and just say, you know, that your their grandmother you know, is depressed and she's been through a lot and she says things that, you know, she doesn't really mean, right? You might want to educate them on her situation and let them know that sometimes she says things that she really does not mean, right? In the meantime, sister, possibly you could, you know, offer to go to counseling with your mom. Um, assure her that she is strong. Assure her that she does have, you know, strong faith. She does have Iman. She does have um, a love for Allah that she trusts in Allah. But that, you know, she's living in the world here in, in this dunya and that possibly, you know, she needs to take advantage of the blessings that Allah has given us to help us in situations wherein it, ca it calls for help here on, on the earth, right? Such as counseling or such as going to the doctors um, for high blood pressure or for diabetes, right? And getting treatment. It's the same principle. You might want to explain to her in that way as well, right? If she had diabetes and needed insulin, would she not go to the doctor? Would she not take the medicine, right? So you might want to look at it in that light and explain it to her um, from that position. At any rate, sister, um, don't give up. Um, you know, keep encouraging her, keep pointing out her strong points. But yet, on the other hand, keep, you know, trying to get her into counseling so her, uh, her depression and probably trauma can be addressed. We wish you the best.